let's make some videos. I see. I have forgotten to actually send the message that I'm recording live. All right. Let's see. Okay, so I want to get the shot. Line myself up properly. Oops. So this is a very boring process, making videos of uh, for the package uh, using the recorder package from Unity, which is I think in still preview. But as you can see way down here, it's doing 60 frames per second and it's recording them slower than real time. So it takes a little bit of time. But the quality of the video is really nice. Um, and that's important. So you get a super slow motion view of the package as it is right now. This is uh, likely the package I'm going to release. There's a couple small things I still need to fix. Nothing drastic or major or anything. Just random like there's a floating candle still that I forgot to update and whatnot. But uh, yeah, otherwise it's pretty much good to go for now. It's going to be updated over time, of course, but for now it's fine. To remember, I need to update or re add, um, yeah, do change the post processing. I was having some issues with the video where I was seeing some flickering, and I was wondering if it was because of the um, auto exposure. It wasn't, um, it was because of the compression type down here. So I switched to a higher compression, more disk space, but better quality. And I need to remember to switch my post processing profile back after I stop recording here. All right, now 
stop recording there. Where's my profile? <clears throat> there we go. See, so it's got the auto scratcher on. All right, let's do one more shot of this. I always learned, or I've learned previously to always record more before and after I think I actually want to use. Uh, not only just because I could be wrong, maybe I want to use more or a different segment of it, but also for fading between shots. this to get the door to open, trigger the door open as I get closer. a little bit longer than I think it needs to go just for that purpose of fading and whatnot. All right, let's stop it here. Let's go to another section of the village. Let's see. Got some gaps right there. I'll have to fix that. All right, let's try this one.
Hey, how you going? Welcome to the very slow walkthrough of the village. No, the, uh, wait, can you not hear me? Can you hear me? Oh, okay, cool. Yeah, the, um, the audio doesn't, oh yeah, yeah, I, I, <laughs> I was bored. Nobody was here. Yeah. Sometimes I talk and I know nobody's there and I still talk anyways, but this time I was just not talking. Um, but, uh, oops, where am I? All right. Uh, yeah, the audio from the package isn't, it gets recorded, but it doesn't get, um, piped through necessarily. So that's what was going on there. Let's see. All right, so I'm just gonna do another quick one here. Basically, I'm, oh really, loads of buffering. Okay, let's see. Low latency toggle under the advanced menu in the settings. Where is the advanced menu in the settings? Let's see. So I've got two different, got a laptop piping through the actual video to the stream. And that's using Ecamm Live. And it looks like, hmm, I'm not sure where buffering is there. Stream manager. <clears throat> it might not be on you. My my uh, my Twitch says, asks, is it buffering? Use the low latency toggle under the advanced menu in settings to disable low latency mode. Not sure where settings is though. I'm using. Let's see. Oh, there it is. Okay, settings stream. Let's see. Latency mode. All right, normal latency. We'll see if that works. Okay. I'm just gonna keep this uh, this shot going just a little bit longer. All right, and stop it there. All right. So hopefully it will no longer buffer. Water wheel is could be my favorite part of it. I, I made a. Um, I'll show it to you after I take the shot. I made a, a video of it earlier uh, um, that looks really cool and um, yeah, I really like the water wheel. Is, is definitely my favorite as well, or at least one of my favorite parts of this pack, and it's going to be featured. Um, it just looks really nice. I want to make a uh, windmill too at some point. I think I need to make a farm pack where it's like all farm stuff, more advanced farm gear, farm house, farm, all that. I haven't actually decided on the price yet. I'm, you know, I think long term it's probably around $90. Um, at launch less because I want to get, you know, ratings, reviews. I want to get um, 
get it in people's hands. I want to make sure that uh, people know that there's going to be, you know, um, updates over time. We're definitely going to be adding a few more things and whatnot. And I do think there's, um, I can't add too much more to it because of the disk space it takes up. So yeah, 60 might, especially if there's sales, that, that's the big kicker. I always want to participate in sales and that's a 50% cut. Um, yeah. And I think, I think long term, like, you know, fast forward a year or two years, I hope we have a lot of different like uh, compatible packs where they use a lot of the same shared textures, but have more things like wizard towers and farm, like I said, mentioned castles and other stuff uh, that are very compatible to together where they share textures and whatnot, but they're just, you know, I technically I can't put more than six gigabytes on the asset store. And I think this one is at six gigabytes or more already. Um, so I can't add much more to it, but instead I can add a bunch of different packs and then make one giant bundle or something but that's like a year down the line or something like that i always have to do the math on the frame count to figure out how many seconds i've actually recorded this clip yeah consistency is definitely um i mean that's that's the key right that's that's why i do this i started doing assets on the store because i wanted consistency and more control and just better quality um and so i eat my own dog food i think that's the term yeah this is unity's tool it's a preview package and it works really well um i've got a special script for the controls of it uh, and it, I love it. It just works really well. Here's let me show the um, water wheel. Uh, not that one. Not that one. Not that one. There we go. So this is a shot I took earlier. I go one direction and the other, and it's. Um, I don't know which one I like better. This one, I think, can make people feel sick if you've got motion sickness because of the the, the motion. The other direction is kind of cooler because it goes with the wheel a little bit. Yeah, I think Pegasus would be good for um, setting things up, but I, I I think I tried using it years ago, which ultimately is, you know, it's probably changed since then, but um, couldn't figure it out then. But that was like three or four years ago, a long time ago. Yeah, so that was the water wheel. So let's make some more. Let's see. Is this cool from the inside? Sure. This looks like it's probably pretty cool. All right, start recording there. I also remember need to remember to take screenshots. That's the other thing I need to. Definitely, the Unity Recorder is awesome. I had no idea. I I've been making videos for my stuff for so long, but I never really thought about three i never knew it existed where it's that but um yeah and then somebody told me about it. josh actually told me about it, the guy who uh did the layout for this scene yeah and uh it's great okay yeah the screenshot uh i use is i think it's just the built-in screenshot methods and it um works perfectly fine it just Takes shots, super high resolution. Yeah, just see, there's a built in screenshot method that Unity provides. I don't know how well known it is, but uh, at some point I, I found it and um, being able to take supersized, yeah, yeah, super sample. That's, that's the term. I was saying supersized. Uh, um, screenshots is really cool. Not sure what that error is there. Random error. Could be. I think something like that. My screenshot script is, uh, let's see, screenshot. Yep, capture screenshot right there. Super size three. That's all it does. 
All right, so let's see. What's next? I had to delete a bunch of stuff from my disk to make room for what is bound to be plenty of gigabytes of video. You think so? I'll have to, I'll have to check it out. I, I generally like it because I can zoom in more. So if I want to re-crop the image, I can do that. Um, so that's, that's ultimately what I I'm looking to do as well. And that's the benefit of crazy high resolutions, right? You can, I guess, what, reframe it after the shot. It's really nice to do that. One day, we'll have characters up there on that balcony walking around. Something like that. Maybe some cloth hanging, blowing in the wind. How is Magical Cloth? I've seen it on the store. I haven't played with it myself. Okay. Yeah, so I mean, one of the things, I mean, simply because I, I can't recreate everything, right? Um, so I've been trying to use other assets when it makes sense. You know, if somebody make, does something so well that it really doesn't make sense for anyone to use something that I would make that wouldn't be as good, like in this case, the trees or the river. Um, I'll have to check out for flags because I know I want to add more flags and also like random laundry <laughs> like just hanging clothing and stuff uh, and so that would be really nice to get those flowing okay i'll have to check that out let's see actually i got two computers let's see oh yeah Yeah, that'll do it. The built-in Unity cloth has always been a pain to use uh, to set that up and, and such. Honestly, I think the, um, yeah, I don't, I don't know much about the cloth. I just feel like there's got to be an easy solution. Maybe magic is it. This balcony building is one of my favorites. I really like this balcony. I gotta learn uh, the shader graph. That's that's what it's on my to-do list of things I'd like to do. All right, we'll stop this one here. Find something else to shoot. Let's see, I believe we have an internal scene here that might be cool. Cool. 
let's start this. I was thinking I could um, use something like Pegasus or to uh, kind of preset these shots and then just hit the record button and walk away. But um, I don't know. I think either way I have to look at the shots and it'd probably be easier to do uh, this. Or at least a little faster, I'm not sure. Less reproducible though. Yeah, I use Amplify as well. I, I, a long time ago, I was pretty decent at sh uh, Shader Forge. Um, but Shader uh, Amplify, I don't know, it didn't really have all the stuff that I wanted or something, or it's just different, harder to for me to wrap my head around. And yeah, yeah, the, being able to do the built-in is, is key right now still until, until URP is the default for most people. <laughs> my guess I've seen more and more people doing URP now asking about it I would bet within a year or two these packs will all be defaulting to URP and um, built in will be just the old legacy ones look at that I have probably a LOD I'm gonna stop recording there an LOD on a candle that needs to be fixed yeah so one of the candles has an LOD that needs to be adjusted. Let's see, what can we do here? All right, so. I don't know, I don't like that shot. Do like that I'm unencumbered by walls. Interesting, maybe. Yeah, the the render. I I do think that any with HDRP, I, I my my sense is that if you don't know why you're using it, you probably shouldn't use it at this point, uh, and maybe even not later. Um, my understanding is universal render pipeline is supposed to be basically the one that most people use and you really only use HDRP if you absolutely know what you're doing. This shot might not be my favorite shot. A hallway can be very interesting though. Yeah, that's like cracks in the ceiling. I We need to fix that, but um, this is the bigger thing on the left that I'm more concerned about. sure exactly what it is stop this one there you can see let's see yeah so it's that light somehow coming through right here um, so it's just not being blocked by this ceiling appropriately you can see that there so that's what's going on there and that that room's on fire all right let's see what else is there so much more oh I do like this balcony Yep. Port 
this real quick, or real slow rather. And I have to remember to take screenshots. Every time I take a video, I need to take a screenshot of the similar scene because it must be a pretty enough scene for me to... Uh... The balcony is actually perfectly sized for a person to walk through. The player character can walk through just fine. Um, so it would be... Not sure the exact size, but my guess is it's one or one and a half meter wide. Scale I found is very tricky um, on these where it, things kind of look smaller than they really are. I'm not sure if it's hurt by the camera view. That's my thinking is that the camera view is, is wrong. Uh, not quite human eyeball uh, or something. But in general I've noticed that like when we do something that's five meters wide it doesn't look 15 feet wide the dungeon is a, is a great example of that where uh, i had been we had been working on all these pieces and then i put them in and i was like whoa wait a minute these are very different scale than i thought they were um just by virtue of, of the way they were and the way they looked in the scene once everything was put together but Keep this one going a little bit longer. We're almost up to 20 seconds of recording. I don't think I would keep 20 seconds of this one shot here. All right. Oh, let me do a screenshot or two. Marketplace area. Let's see. Maybe this, but from the other direction. Interesting. Let's start that. The light mapping on this took two weeks total. I think half the time it crashes in the middle or near the end usually. 
and it suddenly just doesn't work and it has to be redone. So I'm glad that it's finally gotten to a point where it mostly looks good except for those candles that were causing issues earlier. Let's see. Okay, what's going on here? Underground. Just gonna take a screenshot of this one. You know, what would be really cool is some sort of, I don't know how, how this is possible, but some sort of like AI that would like seek out interesting spots or maybe you can like put some markers saying this is interesting, that's interesting, that would just automatically then take videos of those things in various shots and angles and whatnot. That could be kind of cool. Probably throw out most of it, but you only need a couple good ones, right? anything that could be done while I go do something else. That's what I'm looking for. Less manual work. hurts from holding down this key. I need to switch fingers from time to time. Looks like I buffered again. Not sure why that's happening tonight. It hasn't happened in um, in previous streams, as far as I know.
a little off center. I was hoping the two pillars would leave the screen at the same time, but it looks like a little bit too far to the left or something, or my angle's slightly off. Oh well. So I'm gonna keep this one going until I'm a little bit more underneath, just in case that's the good part of the shot. I need to remember to take some screenshots of it as well. Right, just a few hundred more frames. Okay. Take a screenshot there. Four screenshots of this. All right, I know I want a shot on the bridge going sideways to showcase this. Let's see. Do I want a shot on the bridge going sideways? Maybe I don't. I don't. Okay. Do you want a photo of this though? This tends to be a good shot when I used that before people liked it. And maybe I'll do a fast fly through of this one. Let me start a little bit further back. Welcome to the town. trying to use my time wisely and only take pictures and video of stuff that actually looks super compelling. Let's go up here for a bit. Interesting. Let's do that.
brown houses, what color would you expect the houses to be? Off-white, yeah. I think, um... I think I've actually colored these textures a little bit more brownish than the base is. Um, I'm enjoying doing that. The, yeah, I, I think, I mean, stone doesn't have to be brown, gray, or dark even, uh, or just, you know, some sort of wood. go in this building. Yeah. Oops. Let's come up a little bit. I think I'm going to try to do a shot. Can. Let's see. Take my camera. Angle it down. Whoops, not that one. That down. And come up a little bit. Yeah. Let's do this shot. First, let me take a screenshot. What I love about the uh, recording with the with the camera dolly rather than the camera, you can do more interesting shots, which is really cool. The muddy look, I think, is easier. Is is could be the way it is. That blending in makes it kind of mesh all together, and maybe it's lazy. Maybe it's just, you know, what I mean, like. Um, when things are, are clearly not matching, it it's pretty obvious. Like earlier in the process, my I had two different woods that were just not meshing together. And I think that's one of the reasons why I darkened some things because they just weren't working together. Whereas now that they're all kind of more dark, they kind of work a little bit more together. So it could be something like that that's going on too. I missed GDC this year. Usually I would be able to go to GDC and see some talks and whatnot. This year I did not get to do anything like that. a tree in this house. That's not going to work. Alright, let's leave this house.
fix actually because the carpet I probably can't move it because it's in play mode and I shouldn't have done that now it's going to take like a minute of rainbow wheel before I can actually use it again let's see oh yeah yeah that style is um that reminds me of like um renaissance like Shakespeare I should not have clicked in the scene. Two minutes of my life gone away. Before, I used to just force quit thinking that Unity froze, and then earlier tonight I was like, hmm, let me just wait a while. Sure enough, if I wait a while, it comes back. Alright, let me record this one. I think I may have saved a similar one to this to my Pinterest. So this scene, uh, not talking about the the textures and what, but this scene, this whole style of like sort of a more um, dense street is something that I want to add to this. And I think it should be easily addable to, if addable is a word, addable to this package, where instead of the full buildings, we have facades that are just the front that can kind of be stacked next to each other with the idea being two things. One, since they're just facades, they don't have full roofs, they don't have full walls, they just have the front, so it's a little lighter weight there. But second, you can the doors can still open, and the windows can still open, so you could create interiors that don't always match the exact exterior size, which is convenient when you wanna make an interior for a very specific purpose, or maybe one that has a basement, or a door to a dungeon, or something like that. Um, but that way, like basically facades to facilitate uh, actual dense city scenes rather than just a um, sort of village like we have here. So that is one of the things we are looking into as well. Let me take a screenshot of this. And let's go somewhere else. I'm just going to do a screenshot of this one, I think. Yeah, the flowers, all that stuff is stuff I would like to have added um, over time that you know, I, it's gosh, if I don't 
<laughs> if I, basically, if I don't release this package, then I'll never release it, that type of thing. Um, so I'm trying to just get it out there and then add on from, from there. And I know there's certain things I want to redo about this package already, too. Oops. Where am I? Where am I going? Like the doorways and doors. <laughs> yeah, I can't wait. Otherwise, I'll wait forever. This looks like a photo right here, maybe. Low dolly in of this well. Yeah, uh, lots of requests. Gosh, um, the flowers or just really um, there's probably flowers on the asset store already that I would I would just suggest people use. But I could build the planters, planter boxes or something. We can reuse the wood that we already have, which so those should be actually really easy to to create. Um, and I think that's going to be the, the, the best stuff when if there's something that we can create with the textures we already have, then that's like kind of a no brainer because, you know, it doesn't add too much weight to the package because it's reusing the textures. Uh, the more difficult stuff is when there's not something we already have. Yeah, flowers. I, I would really like, um, and this is for somebody else to make, I think, but um, pickable plants right like uh, 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 plants with berries on them or flowers that you can pick or stuff like that yeah the well I think that could be the post-processing I've got going on. I went with a little more contrast than some of the others I um, I saw. And also on the left is the vignetting. I think those are the two things that are making that happen. Um, let me, I'll show an example in a second. Once, once the shot finishes, I just wanna get a little closer to the well before canceling the shot out. I'm assuming you're, you mean over here, this building on the left, is that is that right? Okay, stop this. Yeah, okay, so let's see. It's just as a, Oh shoot, I know I shouldn't click this, but hopefully taking a chance, I'm gonna click this. Okay. So uh post process. So this is from the forest pack from um oh that didn't really change much. Huh. Need to remember to change it back before I keep taking more. But um I think I don't know. Maybe it's not, but oh, hold on. I gotta change the post processing back now. Um, where did I store that? Demo profiles. Okay. Yeah. Um, yeah. I'll have to look into it more. I think uh, partly the, the. Oops. I'm in the wrong view. Partly the, the vignetting and the contrast could be at fault there. Good, I'm glad it looks close up. 
Lots of barrels. They're all the same barrel, of course, but there's a lot of them. I know, right? I think the first, um, the first environment thing I ever made were the barrels. It was part of the, my first dungeon pack. And I released them for free and they were just sitting there for a long time for free. I actually should change the LOD groups. I think these ones on the right is the LOD1, not LOD0. I think the uh, the distance is just not great enough for LOD0. Oh no! Well that ruins it. photo there. Okay, so I'll try this. <laughs> yep, barrels are, are a go-to. They're, they're they look good, they're versatile, you can put stuff on them, you can throw them around. They're somewhat easy, I would guess, to make. Um, someone needs to come up with a really nice barrel package though, you know, like really good barrels with um, liquid inside or something inside and like actual, like you can actually move them and versions where they're falling apart. All sorts of things. He has a volumetric water. I didn't know that. I'll have to check it out. I've, I've, um, I need to look at Beautify two. I think I have Beautify one. Um, but I need to look at Beautify 2. My understanding is it works with post-processing stack and just makes things better. Uh, it's actually on the list of videos that um, Jim, who's been doing a lot of the videos, I have on the list of to-dos a lot with this pack, um, including Beautify 2 and Wet Stuff. Wet Stuff for sure, because that looks amazing. Um, all the different weather systems. I would love to do like if they have the time and I can get them to say yes, I would love to do streams with the, the people who do like Weathermaker and, and Unistorm and Enviro and all those and get like kind of walkthroughs of just implementing their stuff in this package. Um, because the weather systems are gorgeous and, and you know, originally I was going to have the demo scene be one of those, but I realized this is one of those things where I just need to get it out. So I don't have time for that yet. But one day, uh, we'll have, yeah, the weather system stuff. Let's see. More to do, more to look at. Oh, we gotta get a shot with these balconies, right? Or these uh, little push-outs. All right, there we go. That's a photo right there. Is this a liquid volume pro okay I'll have to check it out zoom meeting live background up what is a zoom meeting live background app was that where you can have a live background in your zoom meeting because that would be really cool Nice. 
nice. I have noticed that if I've got my, um, when I'm doing my day job stuff, I use the laptop for um, Zoom. And I've noticed if I'm still connected, I can choose my other desktop as the background. Um, okay. Yeah, so I was thinking I could use something like a, a live background like that and mess with people or something if I do it smartly or something. Tiki bars. If I were rich, I would have a tiki bar in my mansion. Nice. I hope they paid you for that. So like it gets dark when the means is supposed to end. Crickets start forming. Hear people yawning in the background. Nice. Should make it get stormy every time the person who causes issues starts talking. Lightning and thunder. And then as soon as they stop, suddenly the sun's rays come out again. Might get you fired though. I need to figure out how to do a Twitch avatar. Is that if I, if I'm understanding correctly, where like you have a, you know, 3D animated character that as you talk it talks, like the messy coder, messy coder does that. Yeah, I need to get my human character set up for that so that the human character I mean that would be like perfect advertising right there uh, 
I actually think now, so we've got the first human wardrobe is now available for the CC3, Character Creator 3, and the rest are being ported over. And I have a feeling, and I'm okay with this, but I'm a feeling that that's going to put my own humans out of order. Not completely, there's always going to be somebody who wants those, but if you're going to make a scene with like 30 different, 40 different characters, Character Creator 3 is better. It's just the way it is. And there's no way I can compete with that. And like I said earlier, I'm not going to compete with stuff I can't... If I can't do it better, then I'm not going to do it at all. So, yeah, me too. I think it's going to be interesting. Hmm. Yeah. The new ones, the new armors, uh, the armor pack too, that one's great. Uh, oh, yeah, and the three, the, the UMA stuff. I've never been a fan of UMA just because some of the quality of a lot of the models are kind of um, not up to my what I'm looking for, but um, yeah, yeah. But the uh, character creator three is that's something. Can I fix that? How can I fix that? By putting my humans on UMA? Maybe um, O3N will do that. Because uh, we tried, we actually tried a couple times doing to do UMA, and, and both times we just couldn't figure it out. Um, I think we had, myself and two others had looked into it, and we never could figure it out. That's cool. Reminds me, I need dwarf characters. I think uh, Character Creator 3 can do dwarf characters, if I'm not mistaken. And that's one of the big selling points for myself, because the game I'm working on, I want dwarves. And we kind of said no to dwarves for now because of the expense uh, and time it takes to do that. I'd rather asked and said that we focus on getting the wardrobe to be interchangeable before instead of making another dwarf another character so we did that but yeah okay let's get some more shots like got some z fighting right there that up it looks a little dark I think the auto exposure is getting too excitable there
Let's see. There's smoke coming out there. Need to fix those particles. here. Well, that's odd. This is a, a doorway cover. It looks like it's getting a different treatment than the rest of the, the building. Something else to look into. All right. In a couple more shots, I'm going to sign off and then keep doing it. But I think it's time to, I don't know, watch some YouTube or something. I agree on the cloth for sure. I actually want to do, redo that cloth. It's a bit too thick for my tastes. I think it's, it looks like, I don't know, maybe it'd be like two inches or three inches thick in the end. And that's just, that's just too thick. It's kind of unrealistic for me. I think I want it, those redone at some point in the future. this one off and call it a stream thanks for hanging out um, I'll be posting the video stream tomorrow probably on YouTube and then continue again I'm gonna get more shots tonight on this and then uh, post that and uh, yeah get this pack out as soon as possible gotta make a bit more an overview scene and some tutorials and clean up the package and stuff there's some stuff that needs to be removed but there you go. So thanks for hanging out, everybody, and uh, I'll see you next time.